So you just shot all of this GoPro footage and now you want to edit it on a computer. So what's the best free software to do that? I actually have an answer for you. So let me take this GoPro footage out, put it in the computer and show you how it's done. Oh, and I should probably tell you that they're giving away a Hero 10 and I'll tell you how you can win it later on. All right, let's get to it. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black, and I love to review anything that comes my way, but also things that can help you as creators. And so that's what today's video is all about. Now, if you're new here, thanks so much for being here, and don't be a stranger. Click this button right there. I'll put links to everything down in the description, plus some coupon codes and a surprise mm -hmm. link. So the big question is, what free software would you use to edit your GoPro videos? And there is a lot of software out there that's pretty good, but I get it. A lot of you watching this video right now aren't looking to make a career out of this. You just want to be able to edit and splice together your GoPro footage, adding text overlays and cool effects and maybe some color keying and other customization. And I found this really cool software called VideoProc Vlogger. And again, it is free for the Mac or PC. And the layout is really simple and it's easy to use and easy to understand. And so what I would do is take the SD card out of the GoPro, put it into the computer, create a new folder, title it whatever project you're working on. And then I go into the SD card and find the files. Now, when you click and drag over the files, make sure you do click the MP4 files. The LRV files are actually just really small videos for playback on the GoPro. And the THM files are just the thumbnails for that playback gallery on your GoPro. So highlight your MP4 files and drag them over to that folder you created and let that transfer. And then open up VideoProc Vlogger and we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna save it in that folder. It's just easier to keep track of your files when you have each project in its own folder. But here's where you can adjust the resolution. So I've been shooting at 4K, 30 frames per second with this GoPro and then create that new project. And then from there, you can either add videos and just find the videos to the folder, or you can actually find those video files on the folder and click and drag them over to the software. And so I'm actually gonna add some GoPro footage from the last Mirth e-scooter video that I did. I don't think you saw it, but uh, you should check it out, especially if you're in Australia and wanna get an e-scooter. And then from there, it's even easier. You just drag the video files down. I like to take all of the footage and put it all out in a timeline. That way I can go through and cut it up and then put it together that way. But just going through the layout, you have the video track at the top and your overlays are down here. And then you have effects and then audio and then titles. And with the GoPro footage, sometimes you wanna add saturation and that's really easy to do on this side. You can just go and click on it. You can even correct the lens distortion by picking which GoPro and lens to correct. And I also like how you can record voiceovers really easily. You can add more and more layers and do all of this really cool stuff. It's just like a proper editing suite. And the effects are really cool and you can just spend a whole day going through and playing with the different effects. And this gives you the freedom to get really creative with your project. And I've actually had the software on my computer for about six months and they've been releasing updates and adding new effects and different features. And it's really cool because they also have a YouTube channel where they give you tutorials and show you new effects that they've added. Like you can change certain colors, you can add locked on stabilization effects and just so much stuff. And I encourage you to download it and just play around with it. I mean, it's free, you have nothing to lose. And because video is only half the battle when you're editing a really cool project, well, the other half is good audio and good music. And where do I get my music? Well, I'm happy to tell you that I get it from Artlist. I've been creating videos for a very long time. And one of the biggest struggles is finding good music that won't be outdated and also won't get you a copyright strike. And ever since I've been with Artlist, I've just found that I have so much more time to be more productive creating content. And Artlist makes it super easy to search by genre, theme, mood, instruments, and more. And they also have a lot of sound effects, which I use all the time, just so easy to find and download. So whether you're a content creator or you run a business needing some really good background music, I highly recommend Artlist. The music is just high quality and they're coming out with new songs all the time. And hey, Artlist is a big supporter of the channel and helping it grow. So please do me a favor, click the link in the description or in the pinned comment and you can check it out and see which package is right for you. So yeah, that's a great place to get your music. And remember, VideoProc Vlogger is free to use. And I encourage you to download it and try it because this is actually the best software that I've seen that's free that you can do a lot with. 
Now, if you clicked on this video early enough, well, you're in luck because VideoProc is giving away a Hero 10. All you have to do is download the software and use it and then leave some feedback and that's it. You're entered to win a Hero 10. Now, if you're watching this video like a month later, well, I mean, they're still doing some cool promotional stuff on their site, so check that out. And I'm also giving away stuff too. So make sure you, you know, ding the bell. But that's it for today's video. Make sure you go to their YouTube channel as well so you can see some of the tutorials on how to use it. They've done a really good job. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and being a part of this channel and its growth. Really do appreciate it. This is amazing and I'm having a lot of fun making these kind of videos and a lot more videos to make. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Can we call you Uncle Blackie?